Okay, hello. Right then, in this set of videos, we're going to tackle some animation techniques um, that are a little bit more advanced than just using the um, sort of straight keyframing that I've shown in my previous videos. So for this one, we're going to be using um, joints and we're going to be parenting those joints to some of the geometry, some of the shapes to get animation. So we're going to be um, animating a very simple sort of desk lamp a la um, Pixar. So, you know, why not plagiarize them a little bit? And the reason being as well, it's pretty much the simplest rig that I could think of just to get the concept across. So, if we just have a look at what we're going to be coming out with, roughly. So, look at him, he's so happy. He likes to jump. There we go. So, we've just created a nice sort of loop cycle of Mr. Lamp, um, or let's call him Jeff. Um, Jeff going for a little hop along. So, that's what we'll be um, starting to work towards. Um, from the next video onwards. In this video though, what I would like to start with is just covering the basics of rigging. So I've got two very, very simple shapes here, two different ways of rigging. So here um, I've got two cylinders that would make up sort of, let's call it like a, a robotic arm. Um, and I've put in a bone structure, a joint structure. So I started at the top end, so click, 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 and we'll cover how you do that later. Um, and then I've parented to the bones um, like that so that when I move this bone structure the shapes will go with it. Up here uh, I've got a slightly more complicated one in that I'm using what's known as inverse kinematics. I'll show you the difference between them in a sec. Uh, and I've also bound the skin so I've bound the poly polygons to it so that it'll deform as it moves. So to show you the difference this one here at the bottom represents forward kinematics. So in order to get a movement, you have to start at the top of the joint, rotate one joint, then move up and rotate another like that. So you can see how that would work. So it's very similar to pretty much the way our own limbs work. That's really basic and we'll be using a lot of that um, with the rig that we're going to create. Uh, with this one, I've used what's known as inverse kinematics and what that means is that you use a tool to tell it that if I move this end joint here or this what's known as an inverse kinematics effector um, these two joints further up will automatically rotate to accommodate what I'm trying to do so to show you what that looks like if I put the move tool on and move that around you can see that they're just working it out for me so they're both rotating nicely to create a bit of a um, and you can see because I've used skinning rather than parenting, the mesh deforms as well. So these are the concepts we're going to be using in this set of videos um, to get that lamp moving, um, as in the example that I've just shown you. So if you would like to meet me over in video number two, we will bash a quick lamp together, uh, ready for animating it. I'll see you there.